We look forward to a good session, and I know that y'all are even planning now as to what you will what you will do. Uh, before we get into asking you about some specific issues, let me give you a brief moment, and I emphasize brief, uh, just for an opening comment. And Senator Elect, if you would like, if you would start. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just good to be with y'all. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Jr. over here, that's for sure. Um, I guess I'll kind of do a little introduction of, of who I am. I, I think it's a, an incredible opportunity for the Georgia General Assembly that each of us is part-time. Um, we each have a profession outside of the legislature and that brings the unique perspective of so many different areas within our communities and our state that we can bring to the table. I think I'm the only classroom teacher or public high school or public school teacher in the Georgia General Assembly to this day. Um, so I bring that classroom perspective to the table and Ellis brings the agriculture to the table. Here's our businessman right here. Jason Shaw was in the insurance business. Um, John Corbett is in several different things from agriculture to electrical, uh, small business also, but that is unique in that we can come and, and express how it will affect us in each of the areas. So we have a diverse group who um, appreciates that, that we're at the table to make these conversations known and let them know. Amy Carter, um, I've been in the legislature now for eight years. I ran in 2006, I took the place of the incredible Ron Borders, and um, he certainly laid the groundwork for me to, to get started quickly. Um, and Jay Shaw and, and Ellis and Tim Golden all took me by the hand and showed me the way. So that's what we've done with our good friend Dexter here is, is try, He's, this is his second year um, in the legislature, but Anyway, I'm, I'm glad to be here and, and so incredibly proud to represent you in the Georgia General Assembly. Um, Dexter Sharper, and you know, it just feels weird here. I was like, if I had a guitar, we'd be up here singing. <laughs> you guys. But, um, you know, I'm honored to be here. And, you know, it's been a great first session for me this last two years. And it really has a lot to do with our delegation. We have a delegation that continues to work together. We have a track record of being one that works great for this community as well as the state of Georgia. And you know, these two right here, and also Jason, they made sure I was where I needed to be. Uh, they looked after me. I mean, I'm talking, it didn't matter what party you're in, it's about the people. And they made sure that my first term was a great one with information making sure I had something to eat. I felt like a little baby, but I loved it. They spoiled me, but when it was time for us to do work, we did that. And I served as a city councilman uh, in 2000, and um, I really enjoyed that. And South Georgia Medical Center, that's my employer. So we're at the South Georgia, that's my employer. I work as a paramedic part-time whenever I can, so I still love doing that over 20 years now. So uh, my committees, uh, Human and Health Services, um, information and audits and juvenile justice. Uh, those are things that are dear to my heart, the medical field, and then the young people, uh, something that I really, really strive every day to be a part of. And uh, I'm looking forward to this next session. I'm glad no one ran against me so I didn't have to worry about the election stuff. But um, you'll hear more about me uh, in a little bit, but I really appreciate serving uh, Lowndes County. It's very important when I do get an email or a telephone call about different issues that are going on. We need to hear that. We need to hear that before the session and during the session. We need to hear from you because you guys are the ones that we are representing. We represent you. So I want y'all to listen to that again. We represent you. So in order for us to represent you, we need to know what your thoughts are, what you're feeling about different issues. And we continue to like to thank all of you guys that continue to pray for us because we know somebody's praying for us up there. So thank you very much. <laughs>